Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my pleasure to now invite our next uh, distinguished alumni, Mr. Hargopal Mangupudi. I will read out his resume here. Mr. Mangupudi is from the postgraduate program in Software Enterprise Management, PGACM, which is currently known as PGPEM, batch of 2001, which was the first batch. He is currently the CEO and Managing Director of FinUno. He founded a twin-engine startup in US as well as in India and created the world's first multimodal intelligent financial assistant, which was launched at the Global Intelligent Assistance Confer Conference in New York. Forrester mentioned FinUno as one of the global top three innovations in financial services and in customer experience. Prior to this, Hargopal was global head of Finati, senior vice president and member of the executive council at Infosys. He is credited with leading the team which built India's first world-class software product, which Finati is, touching more than 848 million end customers across the globe, estimated to be nearly 16.5% of world's adult banked population across 84 countries and six continents. During his tenure, Finacle was consistently recognized as a leader in the banking platform space, ahead of many global ERP majors such as SAP and Oracle. Hargopal is a regular speaker at global forums like World Economic Forum, European Financial Management Association, and Bank Administration Institute. He has a patent filed in software and business frameworks. He has presented papers at industry conferences like the International Conference on Software Engineering and contributed to various reputed journals such as The Banker, Banking Technology, Bank Systems and Technology. He is also the founder trustee of Give More Foundation, which runs a day school from grade one till grade 10 for urban slum children. I request Mr. Agarwal to hand over the memento for distinguished alumni to Mr. Hargopal. Well, it's always difficult to come after such wonderful speakers. Uh, all the distinguished uh, leaders on the dais, Mr. Agarwal, Professor Srinivasan, Dr. Harish Hande, members of the board, my revered professors, my fellow alumni, dear students, all the invitees of the day, and my friends in the media. Firstly, hearty congratulations uh, to my fellow alumni, Srinivasan. Um, actually, you know, in fact, uh, when uh, Kavita asked me to write an acceptance speech, I was actually not ready for any acceptance speech. She said, how could you do this? You know, so you need to have one. I said, okay, so let me have. So when I was putting the thoughts together, so the predominant thought was, um, what does an alma mater um, or, uh, or uh, IMB mean to me. So when a toddler actually starts learning new skills, what's the most important recognition for a toddler? So the smile in uh, his mother's face is the most important and ultimate recognition for a toddler. No matter all the toys, all the gifts, all the goodies, all the excellent stuff which the rest of the world brings do not matter at all. And, um, and you know, my experience is nothing different than that. You know, in fact, getting this award from IIM Bangalore. So IIM Bangalore has been a launch pad for many illustrious careers, uh, global leaders in the corporate world, in social entrepreneurship, in uh, various fields. And um, in my case, I've been very fortunate. Actually, it's not just been a launch pad uh, because I, I, I arrived at a different stage, but actually it, it was much more, you know, and it has been much more uh, as a guide, as a, as a compass, if you will, you know. So I, I keep telling some of my colleagues that, you know, you always have two compasses. One, the moral compass, which your parents and uh, your early schooling they give, and which you live with. Uh, rest of your life and you know enhance and the second one was uh, the leadership compass uh, for me in the journey and that's what the I am Bangalore was so whenever I was at crossroads and whenever I am still and I, I come back to this campus 
And um, I'm sure, you know, the librarian here, he, wa he knows me much more than many of my colleagues uh, in, in different parts of the world. Uh, so how, how actually, this is a hack, uh, some of you guys who are going to be alumni and who are already alumni, which I can tell you uh, how it worked for me. One is that, you know, taking the opportunities to actually come and learn in this audience, in this auditorium, to various speakers, and of course, uh, interacting with uh, professors and uh, industry peers. But more importantly for me, essentially coming to the campus, uh, very often, just to meet myself made a difference. And you may say how, and those of you who are students here and those who are alumni, you understand why I'm saying this. So we always do the case studies, right? And uh, the case study is a, a, a complete, you know, analysis. You rip the company apart and then you really, you know, ask all kinds of questions. And if only those company leaders, the CEOs and the board were to be there in front of you when you were doing the analysis, you wonder what would be going through their minds. Would they be elated? Would they be cringing? Would they be worried? But actually, you know, so most often, you may not really get that done because there are only few companies which make the grade to be case study. But you know, you could, as a company, you could choose to be a case study and you could do, you know, Ramesh talked about the critical thinking and the critical questioning, which is what uh, my biggest takeaway from all the uh, distinguished professors who taught me here is that, you know, be able to critically analyze your own self and think and question your company. And that helped me a lot in terms of actually meeting this executive me, coming and meeting the student me, and be able to analyze the case study and say that, look, guys, this problem is not unique for you. This is not for the first time somebody is facing this problem. And there have been many cases where people have solved this. And that used to be a wonderful experience for me and then get validated with uh, discussion with students, alumni, as well as professors. I, I think you know, that's been the most valuable experience for me which I could derive without paying any fee. I can tell you to the IIM Bangalore and to Harish's point, Harish, when I joined Infosys, uh, I was maybe the only engineer, non-engineer architect or you know, product guy in Infosys you know, way back in 93. And uh, yes, you're right, you know, many times you know, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't dare say that you know, they weren't good, but essentially coming from a domain helped uh, in terms of the journey. So coming back to the key takeaway, the hack for all of you guys uh, who are graduating, it's, it's wonderful to leverage this great institution beyond as a launch pad, but as a, your, your, your compass for your leadership journey and the whatever corporate journey or entrepreneurial journey, that would be wonderful. So I, I would be failing in my duty if I do not thank all the folks uh, who have helped me, first of all, in not so much about accomplishment, but being, be, being what I am, and being able to stand up in front of you guys. First of all, all the professors, uh, I, I just can't just name them alone. Many of them are here in this room as well. I, I, I met them, some of them. Uh, so essentially, when, when we walked on day one, uh, Professor Ramchandran um, challenged, you know, in fact, we, I don't know whether he, he's in the room, you know, we used to call him monster actually, you know, so he used to be so imposing, but you know, amazingly great and challenging, you know, look guys, if you could manage, if you think that you are mature enough to manage your careers as well as a, 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 a such a demanding course like this, you know, so just imagine yourselves what you would be at the end of this period like, you know, so uh, every, every one of them have uh, sufficiently challenged us you know, in fact, I was telling uh, Professor Mano already, he made us write our obituary. So that, you know, in fact, that was a, a complete revelation, writing your own obituary and say that, you know, wow, you know, so this is what it is going to be, this is what people are going to say. So what am I, where am I kind of a thing. So it's not about, and you know, Professor uh, Narayan Swami talking about Indian society in transition, which it, which it continues to be, and various other dimensions which we learned, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a completeness uh, in itself of uh, somebody being prepared for life. You know, I don't know why it is called just a management degree, but essentially uh, this is something which has to be there for every one of us uh, in our lives. So I think um, I, I really benefited from being the 
the students of, of these uh, distinguished uh, professors and I am. In fact, the administrative leadership here have been amazingly kind, you know, both the alumni office as well as the, the administrative officers, whether it is Ram and Sandeep uh, later uh, of the PGPSM office, and they did a fun wonderful job. I, I would be really, you know, in fact, I miss many of my alumni my friends here from my batch. Many of them, uh, some of them pretty younger to me, you know, when I was in the batch and uh, very nifty and uh, nimble with the technology part in terms of doing the, the presentation part, you know, what uh, Hari's talking about and how we could uh, um, manage the, the use, usual class, uh, classroom role, but essentially the, the learning which you do from the, from the classmates has been immense and it continued to be, and you know, I really thank all my batchmates and uh, all the alumni who really stood as um, a wonderful role models uh, of this uh, institution outside as brand ambassadors. In fact, that's, that's great, you know, whichever part of the world I traveled all six continents, you know, I, I could, when I say that, look, I graduated from IMB, you know, so there is a, a significant of amount of recognition because of the alum which they did a great job. Uh, in fact, I, I, I want to speak a bit of um, um, the, the work environment and the teams which have been participating uh, in what I did. Uh, when I look back behind every visible accomplishment, there are hundreds and in my case a uh, few thousands of uh, amazing silent performers on whose giant shoulders normally some of us stand and, and up here talk. Uh, you know, in fact, I, I must tell all these uh, folks, you know, look, no accomplishment which, in fact, uh, Professor Shauru read about uh, couldn't have been possible but for the wonderful uh, efforts by these colleagues of mine and the teammates, past and present, who believed in the larger purpose. It was not just about a task. It's not about uh, a, a, a motivational talk or, a, or a, a duty, but, you know, understanding the larger purpose, you know, just to go back to what uh, the financial inclusion part Harish talked about. I uh, you know when we said that, guys, when we do a billion consumers for Pinnacle, your billion dollars will automatically happen. So in fact, when we, you know, in fact, did financial inclusion in India, we said that, look, an average street vendor uh, who is actually borrowing at 20% those days, you know, buying flowers at 80 rupees and at the end of the day should give 100 rupees. If you are able to address that, then you solved a problem. Otherwise, you know, your technology doesn't mean anything. And these young souls, you know, coming just out of college, you know, be able to understand the impact of what the technology they make, it's, it's amazing. And it's amazing that, you know, they all understood the larger purpose. And when you solve the larger purpose, you know, you are already making business goals possible. So, in fact, um, Talking about Infosys, um, that's, that's one thing which has happened, uh, you know, something. Uh, these two institutions, IMB and Infosys, have shaped my professional life. You know, I joined Infosys when it was about 300 plus strong. And um, luckily, uh, I, I could get into the area where I could, um, I, I requested for in the product. And um, both the founders as well as the senior leaders at Infosys, uh, they nurtured my entrepreneurial journey at Finical. You know, in fact, in a large professional services company, having uh, coexist a product company is not easy, but for such nurturing leadership. And um, I, I ever so be grateful for that leadership and, uh, you know, mentoring from Infosys founders. I've been so fortunate to have some renowned uh, industry mentors as well. You know, one of them actually took time off to be with me at this occasion, Professor Saragopan, who not only supported strongly, you know, say, guys, you are the, the first and the best made in India product. And, you know, in fact, took immense pride. You know, in fact, he used to be in, on the boards of some of our clients, and, you know, in fact, uh, encouraged them to really try these products out. And, you know, in fact, he, he took immense pride and then talked about it, endorsed it, and uh, really patted our back. You know, thank you, uh, Professor Sargopan. Uh, Uh, one thing I'm very passionate about is are my clients, you know, because ultimately they give us what we are, you know. That's uh, the rubber meets the road experience. Uh, so my clients worldwide were, had given us amazing opportunities to partner, and um, I'm glad many of them have become, those accomplishments have become global celebrated achievements uh, worldwide in, in our space. 
And um, coming to my family, my 90-year young sprightly father is here. Uh, you know, in fact, he is uh, my <laughs> biggest. He's my he's my biggest cheerleader. He's my biggest cheerleader. And you know, in fact, I I I, I can't count how many thousands or million times I, I become so embarrassed about when he starts talking about me to anybody. So then my Finn, you know, teens just next to him, you know, they reinforce, this is a young team and an experienced team as well, they reinforce the belief that you don't have to be big yet to think and dream big. In fact, they, in, in our very first uh, months of existence, they said, look, how about uh, calling in interns from IMB, IIIT, and um, uh, ISD, et cetera. So essentially learn from them how these students would like to see our product. You know, in fact, uh, it's amazing, guys. You know, you're, you're all with me. You know, thanks for, uh, Benny, you have been uh, a pillar of strength. You know, thanks very much, uh, my team, uh, without whom uh, we couldn't have got this started. You know, in fact, uh, the whole journey. Well, finally, I will not take more time. I, I just want to share this uh, very special honor with my very special team, um, which comprises of my wife, Mani, she's here, and uh, our two boys, um, Vishal and Karthik, hopefully they must be watching the live streaming. Uh, uh, they promise. Professional success often comes. <laughs> So professional success often comes, you know, they asked for, for that, so I assume they do. Professional success often comes from uh, many silent sacrifices from our respective families. You know, it's, it's important that we all are aware of it. And um, in fact, uh, there were occasions uh, when I had um, conjunctivitis and I couldn't read uh, the night before the exam and uh, my wife was actually reading for me and I could take the exam the next day, you know. so. Um, Mani, Vishal, and Karthik, um, this one is for you. So I'm so blessed uh, to have you all in my life. And um, ladies and gentlemen, you know, thanks once again. Uh, it's, it's indeed a, a tremendous honor for me. You know, it doesn't compare with anything else in life. And um, I wish to take this opportunity to thank you all. A, a happy and wonderful, safe Deepavali to all of you and your loved ones.